are back with Sunshine talking about dissociative identity disorder and today Sunshine is willing to talk about her children. She has five daughters. One of them is in heaven, Megan. And what's interesting with dissociative identity disorder, DID, is that different alters can give birth to different children. And so Sunshine, your oldest child, Jesse, one of your alters, Laura, gave birth to Jesse. Is that correct? Yes. yes okay. Did. And then with your other children, Laura wasn't the, the mother of those other children. Who was? No. Um, the mother was. Okay. Uh, the mother alter was. Okay. Um, Jesse came about, um, well, Laura, Laura, her mother, is, she got pregnant when she was 15. Okay. Um, it came about, um, she was very young, um, Laura is very, um, depressed, um, she has a kind of, she didn't really, obviously she hasn't experienced the world, and under the circumstances, you know, I mean, being pregnant at 15, there was a lot of, uh, ashamed, and, you know, a lot of things that went along with that. And, and one of the, one of the things that really affected that I should say that that is when Laura was actually created. Okay. But was before Jessica was born, um, her parents, well, the parents, the parents of Denise, of, okay, I'll say my parents, but they're not my parents. Okay. Right. The, the host parents. Yeah. Um, you know, they they didn't want to deal with that fact. They they didn't talk to her for nine months that she was pregnant. They she disgraced the family and she didn't want her her siblings talking to her. So Laura lived a very lonely, sheltered life. Um what was Laura forbidden to go out of the house during the pregnancy? Um well Pretty much. she At that time, back in uh, a Catholic school, you weren't allowed to, you know, you weren't allowed to go to school. So they they, they made her leave. Um, she was able to try and work something out to continue schooling through a counselor that would come to the house. Okay. Um, but other than that, there were, few, there were family members that knew about it, but there was a... a there was the shame that was brought down. Like there was times that Laura would say, I felt the baby kick. And the response would be, go tell someone who cares. So she had that feeling that she always, she was the bad guy. <coughs> and um, so when, you know, it was just her and Jesse. That was her world. And Jesse was the one that taught, I believe, Laura. And probably... Um, a lot of us, what unconditional love was, because we, we didn't know that, you know, no one knew that in that household. Um, so, is Laura still 15? Yes. And she does she, up, does she come well, out at all? Yes. Um, sometimes she does. She used to wear her hair. Now, I can see her. Okay. okay. I can see her, um, but I, I can't talk to her. Okay. Um, She's she uh, to, to describe her. She has hair hanging in her face, you know, her head down, um, ashamed looking. Um, since Matt has entered the picture, though, he he he's talked to her and he's kind of given her a reason to not be ashamed. Okay. So she wears her hair in barrettes now, and she she's quiet. She takes care of baby on the okay. inside. Um, and but, and so does she come out at all when Jesse is is you know Jesse's an adult living on her own, yeah, um, yeah. you know married and and yeah. with a partner and and so um, but as adult children do they come home to visit. Yeah. Does does Laura come out then? Sometimes she has. Okay. Uh, but but I don't know if it's 
it's comfortable for Jesse. I mean, Jesse, Jesse, all of everyone accepts it. The girls accept it. They don't. They say to me they wouldn't want me to be any other way. Mm-hmm. You know, I mean, it's a different way of living, but it's also um, sometimes Jesse doesn't want to get in too deep with things. You know, um, like 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 she knows that that Laura is her mother. Okay. But she that's about as far as it goes. They don't have a relationship. Okay. You know? I think that's almost why she that Laura takes care of baby, you know. Um that gives her that something to, to yeah. hold. Yeah. yeah. And so why was baby created? Are you aware of why baby Well, um I didn't know actually that there was a baby. Okay. Um until I think until Sarah, after Sarah and Abigail, and I was in therapy, and um, I must have gone into what I call transition, and there was a, uh, a moaning, uh, crying, like like a baby, um, and so when I came to, and the therapist, you know, we, we were talking about this, what she said to me was that it probably, there was something that happened, trauma, um, pre-verbal. Okay. So, obviously, it must have been a time when um, I was a baby and couldn't communicate. And that's where she just holds her pain. Now, her, they gave her a name. Sarah gave her the name Isabella. Oh. And, you know, but they call her baby. And she okay. has her own blanket and everything. But there are times when um, I'll find her blanket in the bed and we'll know that she's been there okay or um you know the cry um sometimes i can feel it in my stomach like i can feel different emotions and i don't know necessarily where they're coming from okay um i say to my you know it's like well you know what i'm having a good day today but i feel so down what is that and then maybe it'll be a couple of days later it'll be like well you know oh, this is the anniversary of something that happened. Mm. Um, or one of them have gone and talked to Matt or to the girls. Um, they have relationships with, with my daughters as well, especially Sarah and Abby. Um, so I, I get a lot of intel on, from that. But, you know, there is a part that, and this is going to sound funny, but because I'm out most of the time, but Denise is the body holder. The She's host? Like, no. Mm-hmm. Do you, do you um, call Denise the host or the body holder? What do you, how do you reference? She's more like, uh, now see, for the host, I would be more the host. Okay. I'm most of the time. Denise is um, the keeper of, I mean, that, that the birthright. Okay. Okay. But whenever, thing, whenever whatever happened to Denise happened, it's kind of like her mind fragmented off. So she's there, and she can come out. Um, she's very good at, at trying to get things that needs being met, you know, unfairness. Or because I'm more along the lines as, I'm sorry I hurt your feelings, you know. Um, yes, I will give 24 hours of my time to you and without, I don't, you know, that's just me. Um, but there are times when I, I feel jealous. Now, they are all part of me, but there are times when I can feel jealous because Sarah gets to come out and do this. Like, if there's a movie that maybe we all want to watch, um, if Sarah is out, I can't see the movie, you know, or okay. I can't. So, so sometimes it's like I feel left out. Okay. You know, like, I, this is my life, but it's not my life. And... But this is how they also feel. You know, Sarah knows that she wants to go play with children. And she wants to go see Santa Claus. And she wants to sit on his lap. But she doesn't understand why she can't. Because sure. she's got a stupid 50-year-old body. That's what you know. I mean, she, they're very aware of the body they have. Okay. Um, but they also, you know, it doesn't stop them from still being who they are at so- that age. So when, when they look in the mirror, if an altar is out, let's say, let's say uh, Laura is out, um, and she sees, you know, physically Denise's physical body, 
how does that feel to her? Does she does she see herself? Um, we don't do mirrors. That, that's really um, it's an interesting thing on that one. Um, like like say I were to put on makeup, it's it's exactly you know the focus is you you know how to put on makeup, you know how to do your hair, but other than that, everything is blocked out because okay. it, it's like I don't know if it would be too much for them to because. You know, I, I know logically that we only have one mind and one body, but to them, and, you know, I can say for myself, too, because I am an alter, but, I mean, they have their own physical aspects, their own ways of speaking, their own voices, you know, so they are, in fact, kind of like their own little people. Right. You know, and, and so I think it would be too much confusion on that part um i don't know when that came about when that decision was made i just was aware of it recently that um no there's not a real long time spent in front of the mirror you know it's just something that doesn't happen okay okay and one last question who decides what to wear in the um, morning <laughs> um well it depends um there's kind of a negotiation that goes, like, we know Dale is a, is a teenager guy, you know. He really doesn't go for the frilly shirts, and his favorite lines are dude. Um, so, you know, there are times when I'll grab a flannel, or I wear or a sweatshirt, or something like that, that that's, you know, could be worn, be worn by either one. And that works out best. Um... So generally, you know, it's it's not, unless I'm going out of the house. Now, if I'm going to an appointment or something, then I put on my girl clothes and my woman clothes and just, you know, portray the woman that I am. But if, as soon as I get home, it's almost like, let's, let's run off. We, we need to get on our, you know, comfortable clothes, which usually are old navy pajama pants and t-shirt. That's what, that, that's how it goes. So it, it depends. They have their own taste. So when you wake up in the morning, are you always sunshine when you wake up and, and you know, get dressed? Or is it, it can you, a different altar wake up? Um, a different one can wake up. A lot of times Sarah will wake up before I do. And she will say good morning to Matt or goodbye to Matt. Um, sometimes she gets up, you know. Um, there have been times where she'll do her hair, <laughs> you know, and be and pretty. And how, how does she wear her hair? Um, she just kind of brushes it all over to the side and she'll, she might put a barrette in it or something or just put some water in it or she likes to use a lot of hairspray. But, you know, if we're not going out of the house, it's, it's not a big deal to me. Right. But, you know, it's it's something that I you just get used to, you yeah. know. Um. Usually, though, if we're going out of the house for anything, um, I decide what we're going to wear. Um, if not, then usually it's, it's, it's whatever, you know. It's just, it just has to work that way. It has to work for the system. Yeah, so. exactly. Okay, well, thank you so much, Sunshine. I really appreciate it, and we'll see you next time. Okay, thank you, Linda. Have a good day.